I'm Liz Kirk with Erosity, and today we're talking about interesting facts, misconceptions, and common causes of pregnancy-related muscle and joint pain. Let's get started. Here are some interesting facts about pregnancy. There are approximately 3.6 million live births in the U.S. annually. 50% of these women report pain in the low back, pelvis, and hips. As baby grows, the body adapts. These adaptations can change the way that mama moves, the way that she gets out of a car, the way she gets out of a seat, and the way that she even lifts from the floor. Many women actually go up a shoe size during this time. This is because the arch can widen, flatten, and the foot can swell. Here are three misconceptions about pregnancy. Number one, a lot of people believe there are no options to relieve muscle and joint pain during pregnancy. Actually, there are plenty of options, lifestyle modifications and exercises to help relieve the pain. Number two, the second misconception is that you can't exercise safely while pregnant. That's not true. Luckily, there are a variety of exercises and workouts to help mama move. Number three, the third misconception is that the body is fully recovered six weeks after giving birth. That's not necessarily true. There is no set timeline. Some recover in six weeks and some women take longer. Always listen to your body. Okay, so let's talk about the body's changes during pregnancy. Number one, as baby grows, there's a change in the center of gravity. This can create strain on mama's low back, her pelvis, her hips, her knees, and her feet. Number two, Hormonal changes create laxity in the ligaments. This laxity does serve a purpose. It helps prepare the pelvis for delivery and growth of the baby, but it also can be a reason for pelvic or low back pain. Number three, expansion of the core during pregnancy can create something called diastasis recti. This is separation of the abdominals. This is seen during pregnancy as coning and tenting. Later down the road can create instability in the core and low back pain. We hope this was helpful. If you or somebody you know is experiencing pain, feel free to reach out to Arasti. We have both in-clinic and telehealth options available. See you next time.